good morning students let's see second unit supplementary today we are going to read a nice story the farmer and his daughters this is the story about a wealthy farmer who used a brilliant idea to find out the wisest among all his three daughters let's see who was that wise girl and how did the farmer find it out let's read the story now in the village of manipuram there lived a wealthy farmer he had three daughters who lived in manipuram yes the farmer lived in manipuram how many daughters did the farmer have good he had three daughters all his daughters were married and living the life happily the farmer was getting old so he wanted to distribute his wealth to his daughters distribute means give a share the farmer called all his daughters and gave each of them a bag of millet millet means a cereal grown in warm countries what did the farmer give to his daughters yes the farmer gave a bag of millet to his daughters he asked them to use grains in the best way possible and then come back to him after one year after one year the daughters came back to their father's house the farmer welcomed all of them then the farmer called the first daughter and asked about the grains given to her she replied father i fed those grains to a flock of birds what did the first daughter do yes the first daughter fed those grains to a flock of birds then the farmer called the second daughter and asked the same she replied father i thought those grains were sacred sacred means holy so i mixed those with other grains kept for community food service what did the second daughter do s yes, the second daughter mixed those grains with other grains kept for community food service after that the farmer asked the third daughter she replied father i don't have those grains with me now but i need bullock cart and men to get the grains father was confused and asked her why do you need bullock cart the daughter smiled and replied i sowed those grains and now it has grown as crops so i need a bullock cart to bring back the grains farmer was happy to know that she used the grains wisely wisely means cleverly finally father selected his third daughter because she tried to multiply it she was very worldly wise father found her apt and gave her the responsibility of the fields after that he distributed his other wealth equally among the other two daughters let's see the evaluation part glossary distribute give a share responsibility power millet a cereal grown in warm countries sacred holy harvest yield wisely cleverly next match the pictures students you have to do it on your own fill in the blanks the farmer had three daughters he offered millet to his daughters the first daughter fed to a flock of birds next answer the following what did the father give to all the daughters the father gave each a bag of millet to all the daughters what did the first daughter do the first daughter had fed the birds with the grains how did the second daughter use the grain The second daughter had mixed the grain with other grains and kept it for community food service. How did the third daughter use the grain? The third daughter had sowed those grains to grow huge millets and make money out of it. Who is the wisest of all? The third daughter is the wisest of all. Try your own. Paddy. Meaning. A field where rice is grown. Use in a sentence. I saw lush green paddy fields parts of speech i pronoun saw verb past lush green adjective paddy fields noun next is speak and win
Pick and support any one of the three daughters. Say some sentences for the one you support and say some sentences against the other two to win. First daughter. Very kind to birds because she fed the grains to the flock of birds. Second daughter. She was God-fearing and dedicated to religious purpose. At the same time, she had the generosity of mind to give everyone the benefits. Third daughter. She tried to multiply it. She was very worldly wise. Next, read the passage three times and color rebel for each time. Mr. Murugan is a farmer. He has a small piece of land and two bulls. He takes good care of his bulls as they help him in farming. Every morning, he takes the bulls for grazing. When it rains, he plows the land with the bulls. As he has no one to help, he starts sowing the seed before sunrise. He irrigates the crop till it grows. He reaps and binds the crop and then takes it to thrash the paddy. Finally, with the help of the bulls, he takes the paddy to his house. Now students, you have to color the bull. Circle the main idea of the passage. Number 1. Murugan was a miser. Miser means someone who has a strong wish to have money and hates to spend it. Number 2. Murugan loved his bulls and farming. Number 3. Murugan wished to have people to work. Now check your answers. Murugan loved his bulls and farming. Name the actions of Murugan. Reaping, ploughing, grazing. Let's see my autobiography. Students, have you heard about biography? Yes. Biography is an account of someone's life written by someone else. That is life history. But autobiography is an account of a person's life written by that person himself or herself. Many famous persons have written autobiography about their own selves. Example, Autobiography of Nehru Toward Freedom, 1936 This was written by Nehru when he was in prison between June 1934 and February 1935. Autobiography of Gandhiji My Experiments with Truth this autobiography of Gandhiji covers his life from childhood through to 1921. This was written in weekly installments in his journal, Navjeevan, from 1925 to 1929. When were you born? Where were you born? What is your father's name and what is he? What is your mother's name and what is she? What is your birth order? Do you have any nickname? If yes, reason for that. An interesting incident that happened in your life. Now students, if you fill up the above exercise, you will get a nice autobiography of your own. Interesting, isn't it? Today's homework, write a minimum of 15 words, singular and plural. Number 2. You should have prepared an autobiography using the clues already taught. Thank you students.